What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Sonoma State Fortnite Esports Open. We're coming to you live from the internet because it's COVID. Welcome, everybody. Great to have you all here. Tim is excited. I'm excited, too. So for those of you who have not done so, uh, please, please, please make sure to go and add me, like me specifically, so that if you are ever on stream, it is uh, th there's not any wait. You can just get right into it. So here... How are things going, gamers? Excited to play some Fortnite today? It's a good day for some Fortnite. It's Fortnite Friday, right? I was talking to a coworker whose son does Fort Fridays, where they build a, a fort in the living room. And I was like, oh, just like we have Fortnite Fridays. It's totally the same thing, right? We just build a fort standing on a single plank of wood that rises 100 feet into the air. That's totally the same thing, right? Absolutely. I don't know why I'm asking you these questions. So if you uh, haven't been able to check it out yet, uh, you can find this in the Discord as well, but here is the tournament bracket. So you can grab that and be keeping track of where you're supposed to be. All right. Time to go find Mr. Firebur Mr. Master Fireburn here. There we go. He's being mis mischievously MIA. We, we, do, we don't have AWOL soldiers on this here. Marvel Universe battleship. Oh. I'm told the Master Fireburn cannot play right now. Hmm. So that means we might have uh, another match to play next. Let's see here. All right, unfortunately, it looks like Master Fireburn is unable to participate at the moment and will have to forfeit. So what we're going to do is we're going to put LDCG in against their next opponent here, which is going to be Aaron S1700. So let's go and ping them and get them in here. We'll get the matches going very shortly. All right. So hopefully that will clear that up.
with me right before the stream started. It's a real pity. She likes appearing on these sometimes, but at the moment, she's probably hiding under my bed or something. What are you going to do? Cats will be cats. Alrighty. Well, I'm not getting any word at the moment from Aaron. We're going to have to put them on a timer here. setting a timer I think you guys will actually be able to hear the timer when it goes off so I think it's gonna come through desktop audio so you'll know when you hear those obnoxious beeping sounds actually I should probably put on the headphones so that I can hear the obnoxious beeping sounds and they're not just bugging you the whole time that'd be funny wouldn't it watching some, some sick Fortnite. nice build battle with the beep 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 going in the background that'd be beautiful That'd be one of the highlights of my career, to be honest. I'd be truly proud of that. All right, let's see if we can mix up the tunes here. Let's 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 have a look. Let's have a look. This intro cinematic where you're jet skiing behind the shark. That was hype. I'm a big fan. Got L LDCG changing out the loadout, getting some colors. This is one of the, the prime opportunities to look your absolute best. Got to be a stunner. Got to show off your duds. Not sure which outfit that is. It's looking kind of, uh, here, let me... Swap over seat.
we wouldn't mix the signups like that. But looking at the, the data that we've got now, that's kind of possible. So I won't rule it out. But regardless, one way or another, LDCG has managed to move on here. Congratulations. You existed, LDCG. You did a great job of existing. Um, I just hope that uh, others in future will exist as efficiently and skillfully as you did. All right, so that's Kane's okay, Chungus. Let's check in on a couple of other matches here. I know Tim is here, so that would be great. Unfortunately, it looks like neither. Oh no, it looks like Chim Chimichangas is active because it says, uh, "K, please respond to Chimichangas." So my thinking there is that uh, if K does not respond, which it's looking likely, given that it's now been I think six minutes on that one. Um, Chimichangas will end up playing Tim. Uh, Tim, have you added me here? I think you did. Ah, yes. How could I forget? Um, okay. So, Tim is in here. And so, if Chimichangas can get me an invite, then we can start streaming that, that bad boy. All right. Let me just confirm that my information there is accurate. Where is the kitty? I think the kitty's behind me. Uh, behind the green screen and under my bed. <laughs> All right, chimichangas. Let's get that friend request. Oh, I got a party invite. Is that uh, chimichangas there, Mr. Velocity? Let's let's act on a hunch here, and we'll go to squad formation and sit out. Perfect. Cool. Okay. Um, I'm checking to see just confirming that I'm in with the right people here I'm not falling in with the wrong crowd you know how dangerous that would be Um, Tim, uh, I am in this person's lobby, and if they're the person that I think they are, you can just join on me. Yes, they are. Okay, so Tim, just join on me. I know you've added me already. Um, perfect. All right. What do you know? We're going to watch some Fortnite.
Hello, hello? Okay. That should be working better. Well, guess I'll have to say all of those beautiful things that I just said all over again. Sorry, folks. Well, in the time that we were messing with that, Tim the Tweaker has found some healing and has found themselves some shields. However, they've also found themselves outside of the circle. You can see their health slowly ticking down there. We'll have to keep tabs on that situation because it looks like they're not heading back in anytime soon here. Okay, it looks like they're making a beeline for it now. Meantime, though, we've just been seeing a uh, velocity... Oh, somebody... It sounds like somebody's in the area is shooting. Maybe not at them, but definitely someplace. Unfortunately, we're not seeing his radar, so we're not going to be able to identify quite as well where that might be coming from. But uh, velocity has seemed to be pretty non-confrontational in this so far. Barely hear game sound, okay. I mean, the game itself is fairly quiet, but we can turn that up a little bit. Giving it a five decibel boost. Let me know if you need a little bit more th than that. So now that he's breaking stuff, is the volume fairly decent there? There's no, like, in-game music or anything. Alright. Meanwhile, Tim... Actually, now closer to the circle than he was before. Um, and has finally stopped the bleeding. Looks like he's sitting at about 60 HP. And we've got Velocity just hiding. Now, it's possible that what happened with Velocity was he got a whole bunch of uh, limbs early. And is intending on just trying to outlast now that he thinks he knows he's got that advantage. Um, but uh, if he is sitting at not very many limbs here, the uh, turtle strat here, just holding up inside a, uh, a building, might not be the play. We'll have to see. It did look like uh, Tim had found some action earlier with the uh, low HP that he was sitting at for the longest time there. So we, you have to think he's at least been up to something. Ooh, we've got a couple people dropping on this roof here. We know Velocity spotted them. Also got a helicopter dropping in. Oh, there are people everywhere here. Velocity's just gonna take cover in this tree for the time being. Oh, spot someone else. He's gonna build to close distance with him. There's up a wall he's building back around this tree. Oh, well, he spotted him. He's got high ground. There goes all of his shields, so he's just going to chill and uh, pop a couple of minis. Pops a crash pad. Flies himself away to behind this building here. Builds up around himself. Pops another potion. And here's the big one. A great time to use those. Almost full efficiency on the heals there. The, the shield up, I suppose. Will also give his opponent time to reset, but looks like he only grabbed one shot there. Okay, let's see how well he can laser these guys. They're building up around themselves. He reloads, he checks around, makes sure nobody else is trying to third party. There's a shot for 31, not going to find too much more on that clip. Oh, but he's got somebody else trying to build up over the top of it. Oof. There goes all of his cover.
Not trying to push this too far here. He knows those two are going after each other right now. Meanwhile, Tim looks like he's found himself with an eye shot. Eye shot, that's a weird thing to say. Within a stone's throw, perhaps. Within spit and distance. And by spitting, we mean shooting. Oof. He's in range. Oof. Trying to take some shots as they fly through the air. Does tag him for 31 31. So that guy is hurt to at least something like 39 HP. And there's the knockdown. Does need to get the limb for it to count for his uh, score here. And he gets it. Oh, and that's some big loot right there. Let's see what it is he wants to take. He gets the, the gauntlets. It's a uh, combat shotgun. Purple one. Dr. Doom on deck. I'm just bouncing up and down on a crash pad. Actually making them pretty hard to hit, given how quickly they're uh, changing direction. Oh. Him. Looks like he's uh, up against a minion here. So he just dropped on top of him. Oh, and Tim is down. So at this point, if Velocity has uh, more or equal limbs, he is one. Ooh, nice shots there. Oh, he's just running and gunning with this. He's flying up around him. Oh, this is beautiful. Look at that kiting. Takes another one down. There's only one left in the round. So at this point, Velocity... I mean, you can't even blame him for going for the victory. He's got low ground, though. That opponent knows where he is at this point. I'm gonna take some shots with the gauntlets. Having a little bit of trouble aiming, it seems like, as he's uh, going up over that. He's going to try and heal up as much as he possibly can, which isn't a lot. He's only got shields to work with, no health items. Looks like that's a chug splash. He'll probably take everything he can get at this point. Drops the uh, Iron Man repulsor. Oh, no, he's picking those back up. Wants the mobility. Kind of locked inside this building together at this point. Kind of fight from low ground here. Maybe knock down this build. Doesn't seem like that's... Oh, he, he's found where his opponent is. Kind of take some pot shots, but man, that laser. Chunking him out. Oh, and there it is. But a second place finish coming out for Chimichangas there. So we'll have to see where the match report ends up going. Wow, I actually can't get out of this. Yeah, it's going to give us zero limbs, but we know that that's not the case, right? Okay, for real, can we, can we get the donkey noises out of here? Oh my god, it's frozen. <laughs> Let's, uh... <laughs> Let's switch away from that for the time being. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. <laughs> it just took a little uh, a little longer to load there. No. <laughs> oh, Fortnite never change. Okay. So, we will leave the party for the time being. We'll have to go to the uh, match report there just to confirm 
that it went to, uh, as we thought it did. Tim is typing in the score reports. So we'll see what that ended up being. Um, it did look like uh, Velocity or Chimichangas might have had the advantage there. But uh, all right, so Tim had two. We know that Chimichangas had at least the one. And we know they got another knock. It's unclear whether that ended up being in a limb. But I think the odds are pretty good for Chimichangas. They just need to uh, get that report in. So let's see here. Can get uh Jimmy Changas had two kills but was second place, right? Okay. So by a score of two to two, we get Jimmy Changas to advance on survival. So congrats for that. Alright. So moving on here. We're looking at, let's see here. Where, I'm losing my place on Discord. There we go. So we're looking for uh, Donny Boy and Yoba and then B and AMOG, AMO Gonza, I think. Um, if those matches are going on, then we need them to finish to be getting into our winner's semifinals matchups. And uh, if they aren't happening, then we'll have those DQs fairly shortly. We'll be able to play the other matches here. So let's take a quick jaunt over to the Discord here. All right, looks like we're going to have our uh, big wave of DQs here. We've got a bunch of players who uh, were maybe signed up for the previous tournament and got put in here by mistake. Um, maybe some people who did sign up, did mean to sign up, but didn't show up. So we're going to be dropping some people through losers, and we're going to advance through this bracket lickety-split in just a second here. All right, so we know Master Fireburn is unable to play, so we can drop him through. Which means uh, this would be the last call for Donny Boy. And, um, Tim Wilbur, we do know, is here. So if Donny Boy is available to play, then he can. But uh, we did just EQ him. We would messaged him maybe 20 minutes ago and still haven't gotten a response. So it's looking like that one is going to end up being a DQ that goes in Tim's favor. Then on the other side, we've got AMO Gonza dropping to play against K. Er. Okay, we've got B dropping to play against K. We've got AMO Gonza versus LDCG. Um, but AMO Gonza, again, has not been showing up here. So that might just be LDCG going through to the finals here. 
Well, the winner's finals. All right. Well, I do know that Aaron is not here because uh, we called them for the stream and they have not been responding. So we're going to drop B and then drop Aaron. All right. I'm not seeing any response from Donnie Boy anywhere. And uh, they're offline in the Discord, so we'll make the executive decision push Tim Wilbur through. Congrats on your win, Tim Wilbur. All right. Going to make a last call for Yoba here. If uh, Yoba can't show here, then we're going to drop them. Because then we would get to an actual match that can play. It'd be great. Aw, oh, yeah. Oh, shoot. Wait. Oh, no. Oh, no. Tim. Wait. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, put, I put the negative one for the wrong name. I made you lose a match. I'll fix it. Don't worry. Okay, okay, Tim's good. <laughs> All right. We've had no response from Kay either. So I think we've actually got it down to the point where we actually have matches. All right. So... I'm gonna need chimichangas versus LDCG. Come on down. Get in my lobby. Looks like he's got uh, two in his lobby. There's LDCG. And we're waiting on Velocity. Velocity, jump on in. Can I send an invite? There we go. Perfect. All right, let me just make sure I'm sitting out here. There we go. All right, gents. Wait, not Tim the Tweaker. Tim should not be here. It should be Velocity and LDCG. I don't know what happened there. Um, Tim is sitting on the loser side right now. Chimichangas and LDCG have not lost yet, and so they are going to be playing their winner's final set first. I'm gonna... Oop. Can I remove from party? No, I can't. Um... I don't know what happened there. Oh, well, it says he's playing. One left. Okay. Man, I do not know what's good, what's happening right now. It says that one of them is playing. I'm just going to trust. I'm going to go in and uh, spectate this. Because uh, these updates here are, to my knowledge, known for being a little bit uh, delayed. Let's jump in here and make sure that uh, Tim isn't... Uh... Okay. Yeah, he's not playing the wrong person. Cool. So I will leave this really quick. I said I will leave this... I said I will leave this. 
Oh my god, this is what I get for using the wrong finger to press the buttons. Whoa. Okay. Velocity is here. LDCG. Let me invite you real quick. That was awfully confusing. Okay. Um, hello? Friends list? Excuse me? Somebody is going to have to validate how silly this is being for me right now. Why is that? There's two others. There we go. Oh, that went away. So, invite the party. We've got him right here, LDCG. We got this. You, you join on me, and we're set. You cannot change squads or sit out while alone. I wasn't alone. There's somebody there. Oh, my word. I'm being such a boomer right now. Somebody's going to have to... I'm going to have to revoke my, my young person card that I definitely have in my back pocket. Okay, there's Velocity. Let's try this one more time. And we won't sit out until we get the third member of the party in here. And maybe then it'll let me do it. Yeah, all right, bye, random character spam person. I get messaged by somebody. LDCG, you have any problems? Oh, his game crashed. Okay. Alright. So we're gonna have to wait just a second for him to boot back up. It's loading in at the moment. That is definitely a reasonable explanation to that issue. What an unfortunate one. Hey, there we go, okay. So 
so now that we have two people in the lobby, I should be able to hit sit out. What is it doing? Why is it kicking everyone as soon as I do that? This has not been a problem so far. Huh. Maybe we'll, you guys try inviting me. I'll just hit join party here. Try readying up and starting the game while I am not ready. Because, uh... Okay, part of the problem, velocity. Change it to duos so that I can't join. That might help. Or maybe it's just on my end that it says that. I don't know. Not the party lead. Yeah, okay. So it's set the Marvel standoff. Because that is a squads game mode. That might be causing the problem. I don't know. It seemed to work last time. Um, if you want, try readying up and uh, play the game. You've been removed from the party. Okay, well, if you guys can play a match, I can probably s s try watching from here. doing things. It's jumping around. I don't know why it's trying to do that. Okay. There we go. Join party and watch. Perfect. Watching is not yet available. Okay. So we'll just have to, just have to wait for a second. But it should start to watch as soon as the match is there. Okay. Fortnite can be uh, a little bit silly about that sort of thing sometimes. All right. So after our flood of disqualifications, Here's where we find ourselves. We're currently in winner's finals between Chimichangas and LDCG. We're going to get this match, and then the uh, loser is going to drop into loser's finals to play against Tim. Winner of that will come back up into finals. And if they win two sets to... Uh, avenge themselves in this rematch then they will be the winner of the tournament All right, should be getting that watch symbol any second now. There it is, right on cue. Um, hello? Okay, um, let's try leaving and watching again. Oh, Fortnite. We love you so. Okay, let's try on Velocity since we've already watched from his end. There it is. What are you going to do? All right, here we go. Watching velocity. Levels loading in. We've got uh, a gray pump, a gray AR. Ooh, and we just got some shields. That's a good pickup. 
Looking like we're having trouble specking LDCG here. Um, you can see in the upper left, we actually don't have the indicator. So there might be something wrong going on between their console and mine. But we can see that little arrow out there that is showing that they are still up. Uh, that will switch to the uh, Red Cross medical sign, the plus sign, if they go down. So that is something we're going to want to be keeping track of. Have your eyes peeled in that direction. Because that uh, indicator there is about the only information we're going to be able to get on their location and what's going on with them. So we're down to 50 players already. That was a pretty uh, quick whittling down. All right, got a whole bunch of stuff out there. Got the shockwave grenade. Let's see if he's interested in the uh, SMG here. Or no, that's not an SMG. The purple shooty thing. That's what we're going with here. I haven't played the new set yet, so I'm not 100% on all of the new weapons. I haven't played it a lot. I know about the, uh, basically, plasma pistol from Halo. <laughs> and, uh, about the different gauntlets. I'm not sure about everything just yet. Taking cover in this building. Ah, the, the TV, the CRT, come on, man. A Smash player could have used that CRT. Grab some shotgun shells. Some more shockwave grenades. Ooh, that might be useful, yep. There's full shields for him. All the way up. So that's a good look for Velocity, a.k.a. Chimichangas here. Finds a chest in the doghouse, like you do. Doesn't appear to be especially interested. There's an SMG there. Might be looking at the harpoon gun. He's eyeing it. He's thinking about it. Swaps it for the crash pads. Good source of healing items, especially in the map that isn't as flooded as it used to be, but definitely still has plenty of water with which to grab some fish. Ooh, finds himself a piñata. It's way out there in the open. They always tend to be. Pops it open. Not a whole lot that he's actually interested in there. Gets a whole bunch of mats, but uh, aside from the shields, doesn't decide to trade anything out for it. Ooh, there were some gunshots. Just gonna shield himself. Like he's opting not to take this fight. Shiny object. Oh boy. Alright, where are we dropping, boys? I know I already asked that question, but uh, we're asking it again.
Let's use the chopper. Probably not super worried about that. It's pretty far away. Build himself a little tower here. See what the plan is. Edits his way out of it. Looks like he was just trying to see if he could attract some fire. Identify where someone might be. He sees some builds over there. Unclear whether anyone's actually active over there at the moment. I don't see anything going up. It'd be easier if I could control the camera myself. But yeah, it might be an old build. It might not be anything of interest over there, but it's hard to tell. Edits himself a door out. Looks like he's just going to head towards Circle. Might have just been concerned that he, he didn't want anyone to, you know, snipe him in the back as he headed over. Oh, there's another uh, couple of shiny objects for him there. Let's see if he, he wants to become shiny again. Yes, he shines. All right. Ooh. Well, uh... You hate to see that happen to your house. Interesting. Bold of him to jump on there and, uh, expect not to explode. Climbing up the hill, gonna get his bearings here. See if he can catch anybody out. Hasn't had eyes on anyone yet. Exchanged a couple of shots earlier, but uh, nothing too substantial so far. Has yet to take any damage as far as we've seen. Still may have some limbs from previously. There's someone spotted on the uh, left side of the lake there. I don't know if he'd noticed it, though. We can see it. Okay, there. <laughs> yeah, there they are. He knows where they are now. That's for sure. Oh, this is a few shots. He's going to build over the top of them. And try to close them off. Trying to fight from low ground. It looks like they might be attracting attention from someplace else. They're getting third party. He's gonna let the third party take some pot shots. They're playing evasively. Oh, he just goes in. Oh, there are people on all sides of him. This is a rough spot. Not taking a ton of damage, just a couple of chips here and there. Pretty lucky, honestly. Basic movement. And he's just gonna jump his way out of there. Pulls up in the water over here, builds himself back out. It's gonna be a little bit more tricky to approach him here now that he's built in the water. So they're gonna have to swim at him. Okay. So he sees someone coming towards this build. He knows someone else is inside it. He's gonna let them whittle each other down. See if you can get some shots on this guy. That's a little bit of damage. 
that kill goes the other way, though, it's no good to him. Oh, he gets the knock. Can you get the alim, though? There are two people closing in on that. Yeah, it looks like there was the alim. Goes to somebody else. He's not taking any damage, so he should be pretty happy to just kind of sit back and watch this develop and maybe pick up the last alim in the sequence. But even if nothing else, there's probably some good loot down there. Oh. Both of them missing. Big chunk of his health taken out. This might be a problem for him. He's able to jump out of it. Will the opponent be able to chase? Man, even with this, these, this health pot here, he still might just get one shot by a headshot. Depending on the, the weapon that's used. Oof. Oh my goodness. And there it is. Taking sixth place. We don't have a ton of information on the opponent, so we're going to have to see what they say in score reporting here. So both of y'all, go into score reporting. Post your number of limbs. Days, it's gonna kick me out of this. I can just probably leave match here. All right, we've got L LDCG posting in score reporting, and we're waiting also on Chimichangas. Here's that Velocity survived longer because we weren't seeing that white triangle toward the end. The question is where the limbs went. Still not seeing anything from the both of them. Make sure. Hmm, it doesn't look like either of them in the chat either. CG is typing. Okay, got two limbs, so now it's up to Chimichangas here. Actually, you guys probably can't hear the music I'm jamming to now. Oh, that's unfortunate. All right, we'll bring it back to here. Um, yep, all right, so we're going to need uh, Chimichangas versus Tim Wilbur here because we had 
Chimichanga's at one elimination, whereas LDCG only already had two by the time we went down. So let's see here. The one we don't want right now is LDCG. You are sitting pretty until the uh, grand finals match happens later on. I'm not the lobby leader, so I can't do much about removing you or anything like that. Tim left. Interesting. Well, we were having problems starting it while I was in the lobby before. So I'm just going to sit back for a second. I already know we're friends with everybody. We've already spectated matches with all of the above. So what we're going to do is we're going to... Wait for them to get started. It's going to be Chimichangas and Tim. So Velocity and Tim. And once they can get started, we'll jump in on their match here. What I'm going to try and do here is I'm going to try and get the perspective of Tim in this match and LDCG in the next match, because we've already seen Chimichangas play a couple of times. I want to get some fresh faces on the stream here. There we go. All right, should be able to watch shortly. Cool. So we've had Velocity, AKA Chimichangas so far, playing a pretty patient game and going for um, survival, prioritizing that quite a bit, which it's an interesting strategy because, of course, you, you can't can't get a limbs if you're dead. But, on the other hand, it, it's been causing him to play pretty cautiously. And it, uh, it seems like he hasn't been dropping very hot. It seems like he hasn't been going out of his way to pursue people when he encounters them. Uh, he's actually run away from some fights here and there. And despite the fact that that's getting him pretty far survival-wise, might need to turn on the aggression just a little bit more to be able to catch up to his opponents here because uh, they haven't necessarily been, you know, getting double digit limbs or something, uh, but they've been a little bit more aggressive. They've been taking a few more fights and that's generally been paying off for them. So see if uh, Velocity can assume the right amount of risk here. So we're chilling here, waiting for the seemingly arbitrary point at which it uh, is going to let us into the match. I thought it was 90 seconds flat, but apparently it's a little bit different than that. Back in and watch. Watching is not yet available. Okay. Maybe there is some sort of uh, in-game metric that it's waiting for to get us ready to watch it. I'm curious about this now. Maybe it's once you're down to a certain number of players. Maybe it's once everyone's touched the ground. Hard to say. Looking like we are going to get to see Tim here with this Aquaman. Already in a gunfight as soon as we drop in. Taking one down. Good 
Gonna shake them down. Figure out where their partner is, it looks like. Rocket Raccoon. Looks like he's just jetting around behind him, watching his back. Scratching himself, spitting. It's interesting, though. You have to imagine that uh, Rocket isn't actually going to help him in the event that something happens. Throws out the Disco Ball. This is looking like a bot, potentially. Just kind of walking forward and crouching. So that's going to be a nice pick for Tim here. Tim wielding the power of thunder here. Grabs himself some ammo. Yeah, you have to imagine with uh, how we've seen Chimichanga's playing so far, that Tim is probably in a pretty good spot. We've seen him just now pick up two, at least. Finds himself some shields. That's going to be a nice pickup. Not going to be too much more to loot in this area. So we'll see where he decides to move next. Going backwards for the drop. Oh, it looks like we've got some henchmen to take out. Yeah, they start moving. It's gonna make it hard for. Uh... Okay, he drops down the build a fort. Port a fort. Just kind of taking some pot shots. Good thing these guys have Stormtrooper aim. Shoots himself down a blue tactical submachine gun. Gonna pick that guy up. Mobilizing some robots. himself a chug splash. Nice little bump to his shields there. Almost at full now. And he gets in... Oh, another chug splash. So that's going to put him at full. Four of them, actually. So he's just going to sit on those, wait until they are uh, going to be able to be used at full efficiency. Got another boogie bomb over there. Might be an interesting choice here. He is currently sitting, it looks like, on uh, two different ARs. So maybe swapping one out for another item here might be the play. Looking down like, do I really want to jump off of this cliff? I don't know. Energy rifle here. And there's a blue AR. He'll take that one instead of the burst. What is this shiny object that we have here? It's not shark surfing per se. But uh, it is still cool.
Got a big Timmy fan in the audience here. You love to see it. Oh, man. He's been defeated by that window. I think it's all over for our hero. Also seems not to have realized that he's out of the circle. Oh, it's not moving too quickly. He's got his squad mates kind of wandering around aimlessly around him. Let's see where Velocity ended up. Um... a blue triangle. Hmm. Odd that he's not showing up on the map right now. Because we can see him over there. To our back left here. Maybe... Maybe... We, he, I'm just confusing him for one of the robots. Oh. Oh no. Oh no, Timmy. <laughs> there we go. He made it up. gas can. That will help him destroy things a little bit quicker. Which is nice, because all of the ammo is going to drop miraculously untouched, despite the fact that the entire rest of the building was exploded into oblivion. Time for him and his squad to uh, start moving along. Circle's going to be closing in soon, so... He's not going to want to take too much more damage. Ooh, he spots someone on top of the hill there. Let's see if he can use the trees. Ooh, and he, ooh, he takes fall damage there, too. But... Able to get himself right back up with the chug splash. Take some AR shots. Good damage so far. He gets the knock! That's a third one for him, as long as this doesn't get yoinked from him at the last second. No, it didn't. He, he just got it. Clean. The blue pump there. See if he's interested in snagging that one. Yes, he is. Opting just to stick to the chug splashes for the purposes of healing at the moment. Definitely a very efficient item, if not a high capacity. Nice that it's going to heal for both his health and his shields, whichever one's missing. Thinking about the chopper? No, he's not, because he's got someone shooting at him at the moment. Oh, he's just going to shoot him on open ground. Yeah, this is looking like a bot. So that's going to be number four. Alright, robots, what are you doing to that chopper? Thought I saw something flash up on the right, but maybe I didn't. Uh, I think I'm seeing things. Was Rocket going full flying squirrel there when he jumped up? That's funny. Only eleven left. So what with the, uh, the pressure Tim has been putting on here to get some limbs. Chinese might need to be playing uh, pretty aggressively here. If he wants to make it back up. You really probably want to get your limbs early if you can help it. Simply for the reason that uh, once the game gets later... You can be, uh, you're not going to be finding bots. So they're going to be uh, a little bit harder to hunt down. 
You just don't have as, as much act access to other players. We saw LCDG make it through earlier on aggression, even though he ended up not surviving for as long. Deciding to leave that beautiful truck intact. Shows that he's a reasonable man. He has a soul. <laughs> Robot just sitting in the middle, disturbing all the fish. I don't think he realizes he hasn't uh, cast it. Okay. Oh, okay. Rocket's kicking back. I see what it is now. He sees someone hold up inside that house. Velocity, meanwhile, built up on the other side. So we might be able to get some slight updates on what's going on on that front. So the bots are going in. down for him. Looking for his opportunity. Can't expect that they're going to do a lot of damage, but you can't expect that they're going to maybe flush him out. Oh, not finding any shots, just taking a solid 60 hit points there. Opting to blow part of the house up doesn't end up blowing up the part he wants. Just takes the opportunity to throw some chug splashes down. Circling, looking for a way in. It's going to be a solid tower at this point. He's had plenty of time to build that back up. Tim doesn't look like he's reevaluating whether to go in. He's just trying to figure out how. Might be able to find some shots through the window here. He's very exposed at the moment. Tops to land on top here. Can he sneak his way in? Does he want to just drop down on top of this? All right. Blows a big hole in that cover. But doesn't opt to go in after him. It's, oh my goodness, what a fight. He's able to pull it off, but there's an, another opponent in there in the house. This is a duo's lobby after all. They were working together. Oh man, and that's going to do it for Tim. A huge total though on that one. Gonna hide himself in this bush. Couldn't tell you why necessarily. At this point, it's maybe just trying to get better view. Oh, and the duo have revived each other. Let's see what happens here. They opt to go after velocity. All right. And here we are with Velocity to finish off this round. Only two remaining at this point. So Velocity has one more chance to put some points on the board. We saw a really respectable showing from Tim there, so we'll have to see if Velocity has been able to keep the pace. Pulls up inside this building. 
get himself out of it. There are a lot of builds around here at this point. It might be hard to say whether someone's still hanging out in one of them. Looks like there was someone in there, at least very recently. Oh, he spotted him. Took himself away. Unfortunately, no shots going through there. Got 31 for that. Looks so, like he's opting to rush it. Takes a couple shots on the way. Build himself through. Oh, they're right on top of each other. It's going to be over right here right now. Oh, and a big headshot with the shotgun takes him out. Jimmy Chungus gets the Vicroy, but the question, how many Alims were there? Tim putting up a very respectable, it looked like six. Going to need to see this in uh, score reporting. Ah, uh, this is true. The the two that he got in the storm, I'm being reminded. Um, so he had six, right, before we switched over our perspective. Um, that was the number that the game was showing. However, there were two that he got in the storm. So if the UI is correct, which, I mean, that's rare. But if it was, then that would mean that he has even more. But... We'll wait on their reports here. Their reports are way more likely to be accurate. Tim with... Oh, so two of them are assists. Sephora limbs. Okay. Yeah, it is eliminations that count and not um, knockdowns. You actually need to get them once they're knocked down there. Um, okay. So it would appear then that it doesn't count the two that... Because there were the two that you weakened but then got caught in the storm, right? And they got knocked down because of that. Um, even if it's giving you those, since you didn't get the limb. I imagine that would not count as an alim for you, like he, since it was the storm that did that for you. So if it's only four alims, then Chimichanga is is going to advance with five here. Very very close one there, and an unlucky break for Tim on those uh, assists that he got. So that brings us back to the rematch of winner's finals. We've got LDCG versus Chimichangas. Now, being that LDCG was able to make it through... I'm going to leave this party so that uh, they can get things started, because apparently my presence messed with it last time. Um, so, owing to the fact that LDCG won the first match between these two players um, so since Chimichangas is coming from the losers bracket if Chimichangas wants to win he's going to have to get the next two in a row whereas LDCG can wrap things up if he just wins this next game the Chimichanga is going to have to come out swinging but based you know coming from the momentum of the previous match he's got a shot so LDCG and Velocity, a.k.a. Chimichamba, Ch Chimichangas, get yourselves in a lobby together, and let's get this rolling. Big Bible thumps coming through for Tim. Played his heart out on that last match. That was a good look.
Oh, Nightbot, come on. Come on, Nightbot. Chill out. Relax. Cool your jets, brah. I'm gonna go in and mess with that right now. That's that's just silly. That was not excessive. That was incredibly warranted. I doubled the limit for the emotes. So we got Velocity here. We're waiting on LDCG to make their way in. We'll invite them to the party here. See if I need to be kicked. Okay, and let's see if I can sit out. Nope, it doesn't let me do that. <sighs> well, at least you guys are now in a lobby together. So you guys can get things started. Here we go. I'm just waiting on that ready to button to turn into watch. It's generally taken about 2 minutes 45 seconds in the past few, so we'll see how it ends up being there. Okay, wait a minute. So my math is still off. I'm still getting corrections in here. So apparently the totals that they're coming up with have been because they're not considering bot kills so they're just not counting those in their eliminations which very gentlemanly very classy of them um those are just kind of like random freebies that you'll get but uh what we are so those are what weren't counting towards the score of uh tim here but those two that we got in the uh in the storm apparently do count as a limbs Kind of crazy the amount of time that I've been playing this game that I have never actually encountered that situation. <laughs> All right, Tim with a, a more reasonable sum of emotes. Here we go, we've got the watch button. I didn't notice who it was that I uh, joined in on. So we'll see who we end up specking this time. Looks like we're specking LDCG here. And we cannot see Velocity. Thank you, Fortnite. Oh, he spots someone. He spots a couple someones. Wow. Really straining the accuracy of his weapon at this point. Oh, 
almost seems like they didn't notice he was there at first. He was able to take some pot shots because they thought they were getting shot by minions instead. Yeah, yeah, I know they're henchmen, but like it's, it's superheroes, right? Minions is appropriate as well. I've actually been able to tag on a lot of damage here. Albeit very slow. Out of ammo there. Oh, wow. Able to get a couple picks with the uh, pistol, too. It's just running out of ammo. He's going to zipline himself away. Doing a great job to have found a purple scar at this point. He's going to zipline himself further away. Looking to be pretty darn safe at this point. Checks to see if they're following him. He might have changed his mind about where he wants to go here. Ah, there's a boat moving over there. Oh, this is a firefight and a half right now. Oh man, he needs to be hitting shots. He has very little ammo right now. Gets one for 50. Another one of these shots will take this player out. Can you get it? Oh no. Jumps himself further forward. Ooh, he's going to find some AR bullets here. Unfortunately, going to be split between the AR that he accidentally... The uh, burst that he accidentally picked up and his scar. Having trouble finding these shots. Just going to go out after him in the boat. That will do it. He knocks him down. Gonna use the boat to get the limb. He doesn't run out of ammo on his weapons. Having some trouble finding the range here. He needs to be a little bit further back for that rocket to be able to park downward and hit him. It's like, ah, to heck with it. Only took one shot. And now, hopefully... He's going to be able to grab all of this ammo here. Man, he's still working on precious little of it. Opting to stick with the gray pistol instead of the purple revolver there. Oh, I accidentally swapped his scar out. Never mind. <laughs> he doesn't want either of those. Able to get a couple of a limbs from that. Picks up a med kit here and is gonna jump himself away. To lick his wounds. In a hole up in a bush here. Fantastic place to. Med kit up. No sign that a player has been there. It's going to be relatively quiet. I'm listening to hear if he's hearing anything. Is he 
feel like he was really nervous about something. Maybe he just wanted to, you know, take a break and grab a drink. I don't know. But, uh, sat in there for quite some time. I didn't quite hear anything. Oh. And down goes Ghost Chicken 12. Ooh, a boogie bomb. Some great crowd control. Jack a taxi and crash it into the nose of an 18 wheeler. To no effect. He's fine. Everything's fine. It still drives. It's not totaled. Yeah, screw that sign. Don't pay attention to road signs. This is crazy taxi. One of the finest arcade games of all time. Takes a break from his taxi route to ransack the truck. Finds himself some shields. Snags the med kit back. Oh, and uh, misses the jump there. You have to think he was maybe aiming for the rail. To, uh... If he heard something there. Might be interested in grabbing that drop. We'll see. He's got a chopper behind him. And this is duos or squads, so he may need to watch out for some fire coming out of that. He sees someone dropping straight on top of that. So he may not like the odds of going in for it. Clearly eyeing the chopper here. Trying to go down. Oh, he tags him for a significant amount of shield damage. Not going to take out the chopper yet. Oh, another big shield hit. Chopper's going to need to be careful. He's giving all these free shots. Is it coming back? Ooh. Someone's on the other zip line. Coming straight at him. Oh, what can he do? What can he do? He's going to try and booyah bomb him. Or boogie bomb him. I've got Splatoon on the brain. Oh, he hit himself with it. <laughs> He's jamming out to these sick tunes in intense fear for his life. There it is. Looks like both squad members are down here, otherwise it would be uh, moving me over to the teammate. So let's see how that ended up. This could be it right here. Or we could be going to a grand final set two. It all depends on how well Chimichangas was doing on the other end. Let's see those posts and score reporting. LBCG about to post up here. LDCG with four limbs. Oh. Yep. And let's see what Chimichangas came in with.
Chimichangas with no kills there. So that is going to mean that LDCG is our champion for the day. So congratulations, LDCG. I'd like to give a big shout out to Sonoma State University for bringing us back. We had a grand old time playing some Fortnite together today. Happy to have you all here. Um, apologies that, of course, it seemed like uh, there were some people. It was looking like a bigger event than uh, it ended up being. But nevertheless, y'all got some good games in there. Everyone had at least, I think, three. Um, or, no, at least two. Because of, yes. Um, had at least a couple of good matches there um, with actual human opponents <laughs> instead of just getting a DQ through. So, congrats to all of y'all for p competing here. Um, congr congrats to LDCG for first place. Good job to Velocity, a.k.a. Chimichangas, for putting up a good fight. And Tim, the crowd favorite, putting up some pretty good numbers all the way through. Um, he did not just roll over and uh, let him have it. He put up a good fight. So, hope you guys are able to maybe, you know... Make, make some friends, you know, elbow, elbow, go and uh, play with each other a little bit more often. Squat up. Could be a fun time. But uh, that is going to do it for us at Bravis for now. I'd like to plug really quickly. We have a community Discord. Um, you can see it in our chat right now. If you go here, you'll have access to not just, you know, the players from your own local school, but all of the people who enter tournaments um, through our events uh, that have opted to be a part of our community. So you'll get, you know, people from all across the country, college kids just like you, who are all interested in playing some games together. We've got a whole wide spread of games there. We've got Smash, we've got Fortnite, we've got some League of Legends players in there. We've got a bunch of stuff. Rocket League is a really popular one on our Discord. Um, got a few Splatoon players, elbow, elbow. You might have been seeing some Splatoon notifications come up on my Switch. Um... So any of those games interest you and you're looking for some more people to play with just to hang out online during these COVID times where meeting somebody in person is a little bit more of a no-no, um, definitely check that out. We'd love to have you. We have been Bravest Esports. We like building esports communities and helping other people build them as well. Hopefully we can bring a few more people together. Hopefully we brought a few people together today. But that is going to be it for us for the night. Thank you all for watching. If you want to support the channel, I'd recommend you find actually Bravest Esports instead of Bravest Esports 2. We're just going to post more stuff there. Uh, this is a bit of an overflow channel. We had five different tournaments today. Um, so you guys were second billing. That's not too shabby. Um, but uh, the main channel is where we're going to put a lot of our shows. It's where a lot more stuff is going to be happening. So I would check that out too if you liked what you saw here today. Bye, everybody. I've been Jem. I've been your uh, commentator for today. Big shout-outs to Slikeman26 for helping us out on the back-end tournament organizing. That is a much harder job than it might seem from uh, what it is that you can see. So, huge tip of the hat to him. And with that, we're going to call it a night. Thanks for watching, everybody.